So listen, the kind folks at ASUS Canada wanted me to show off their brand new laptop, the Zephyrus G16. This thing is a thing of beauty, okay? I really love it already from what I'm seeing, but they wanted me to showcase some of the newest games running on it because it's got an RTX 4090 in there. And one of the newer games that just released was Suicide Squad, so I figured what better game to try and test out on the laptop. And then unfortunately, my internet went out. So I had to think of an alternative. And well, I did the logical thing and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and sneak into Asus Canada's HQ. I did a little bit of sneaking around, and next thing you know. Okay, I got the Zephyrus G16. Oh, oh shit. I got it. Oh. Supposed to be here. Oh, begged them to let me stay. Thankfully, they were kind enough to allow me to do so, and we got to boot up Suicide Squad. And my goodness, this thing ran like a dream. I mean, this laptop was completely redesigned from the 2023 model of the Zephyrus G16. It's more sleek and discreet, great for people who want to game on it, or if you just want to use it, obviously, professionally. If you're sending emails, if you need a good laptop, or hey, if you're a content creator like myself, if you need a good laptop to be taken with you on the go, if you need something to perform well while you're editing, this laptop, the Zephyrus G16, has got your back. Plus, it is one of only two laptops in ROG's gaming lineup that features a 3K OLED screen. And you truly cannot appreciate OLED enough until you see it with your own eyes. Seriously, playing Suicide Squad with this laptop, seeing it on an OLED display, it was gorgeous. And like I said, they packed in a freaking 4090 in this thing. It's so compact. I have no idea how they pulled it off. It's also got up to Intel U9. This thing will be performing at max capability. And if you're worried about overheating, considering how much is packed in here, well, fret not. They've got incredible cooling in this system. I mean, it has liquid metal in there. There are heat pipes, arc flow fans, and the works. And you know, again, playing a game like Suicide Squad, I had zero issues. It was running at a buttery smooth 60 FPS. I even cranked pretty much all all the settings to high. I even turned on the ray tracing because that's a feature I didn't even know that you can turn on when you're playing on PC. I tried to stress test the hell out of the Zephyrus G16 with Suicide Squad and everything was running buttery smooth. Listen, you already know that I have some issues with Suicide Squad. I don't think it's a perfect game, but it absolutely has some incredible visuals. There's really no denying and I feel like you'd be lying to yourself if you were to say that Suicide Squad is a bad looking game. And again, to be experiencing all that on an OLED display, to be seeing it in pretty much the most crisp quality that you can was pretty awesome. It really lets you take in and appreciate more all the little details and all the intricacies that they apply to the open world of Metropolis in the game. And again, with a ton of particle effects, throwing grenades, and just having as much flashing on my screen as possible, I was very surprised to not even notice a single stutter. Considering how demanding this game could be and considering how much can be happening on your screen at once sometimes, I wouldn't have been surprised nor would I have had a problem if the laptop wouldn't have been able to handle all of that but it could. And you know, if you're wondering out there as well, how exactly you can transfer your save from a console, if you were, to this laptop, it's really, really easy. Just make sure that your WB Games account that's linked to whatever console you're playing the game on is also linked to your Steam account. And then after that, when you sign in on Steam, on the laptop, you'll just carry on from where you left off on your console. Again, it's perfect for someone like myself. If I'm traveling, if I'm on a trip and then something drops in Suicide Squad that I want to check out or maybe I need to make a video on, well, I got the laptop, it's got my back, I can make the video no problem for you guys. I mean this genuinely. This is the best laptop that I've ever owned and probably will be for a very long time. And even if I'm not using this for gaming, again, it's really good for someone like myself who needs a high power laptop for editing. Plus, I mean, come on, look at that sleek slash. Are you telling me that doesn't look so sick to you. I got to try out Suicide Squad. And then also when I got home, I wanted to jump in and see what Arkham Knight was going to look like in an OLED display. And I mean, just chef's kiss. Arkham Knight is not necessarily the most demanding game of all time to be playing on a laptop, but I mean, it's running on an OLED display now, and that offers up an entirely new experience. Not that I didn't already because I love the game, but I absolutely now have an excuse to jump back in and replay through it. And that pretty much applies to my entire Steam library. Any game that's coming to PC now, you know, when Marvel Spider-Man 2 inevitably comes to PC, which we all know that's going to happen at some point, I'm going to be very excited to boot up my Zephyrus G16 and jump in with that game as well. Anyways, you can order one of these right now if you'd like. The link's going to be in the description box below. I cannot thank Asus Canada enough for allowing me to sneak into their headquarters and then film this video for you guys. I love this laptop. Cannot recommend it enough. Check that link in the description box below. Order one right now. And with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about the Zephyrus G16? And I also want to hear you guys sound off in the comments section below with what games that you would want to jump in and try out if you were to get your hands on one of these laptops for yourself now that you got that beautiful OLED display and all the things that are packed in here. I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.